downwards. Um, <laughs> you, <laughs> see, I'm getting excited now. Yeah, you and, are. They're, they're... And, um, and they're the clouds that give thunderstorms um, and hail as well at times. So uh, we've started to see some of those thunderstorms breaking out Oh, that out doesn't today. look good. No, so this is where I showed you Northern Ireland earlier on, Western Scotland. It's just been a plain old soggy day here. But it's these clumps of cloud down to the southeast, those cumulus and... I can see little lightning flashes. Yeah. I've not seen those before. Well, let's zoom in. And it shows you where we've recorded lightning over the last few hours. You can see sort Ooh. of central southern England, up into Oxfordshire, parts of the Midlands. What's the uh, difference between a red and a yellow one? Um, it kind of just shows how long ago the lightning flash was. Uh, so, so, so uh, What? Well, no, because... Well, is red older? Y yeah. So red, oh, is, okay. red is older. So it kind of shows, because obviously they happen over time. We're I mean, not just going to put them all on the map at once. <laughs> um, who so knew? Anyway, there are some thunderstorms <laughs> out there. You can see. <laughs> who knew? Who knew? <laughs> you know what? Sometimes you just don't expect the questions. Um, so, anyway, deal with it. Yeah, I, well, I'm dealing with it. That's, that's <laughs> what I'm here for. Um, this is our high-resolution weather model, and it shows us where we're expecting the storms to travel uh, over the next couple of hours. You can see they're sort of drifting gradually westwards.